Okay, so I'm back on this snowblower project that I've been procrastinating on. Our weather was really mild uh, going into this year, but in the last couple of weeks we get a bunch of snow and now the piles are getting kind of big. And what, two weeks ago we had like four inches of snow. Snow, I did a little video on that. And it was like 30 below, and then a few days later it was almost 40 degrees. And that melted and froze and made a big ice rink behind my house, or behind my garage where I kind of store everything. And I'm gonna go out there in a minute here and take a peek. So now I'm motivated to try to get the snowblower. I want to hook that on the front of the snowblower. I don't think I've even posted anything on this, just collecting videos. But now today again, we're back to 15 below. Uh, what are we on? February 9th. And I'll show you why I'm getting motivated to try to work on this again. So, there's kind of what I'm up against. We got a few snows back to back, and usually I can keep up with this. And I'll, you know, over days I'll pick away at it. Um, so you can still, see it still pushes it up pretty good. It's mostly a nice light snow, but this would be a lot of work from my little plow, and I'm kind of surprised it's doing this well yet. Oh, there I'm stuck. But it is literally a sheet of ice under this, so it gets pretty tough. So normally I could probably push that right back. But anyhow, this would be a great project for that snowblower. If I can uh, get that thing going. It's a nice fluffy snow. It'd be a good test for it. So. I'm going back in where it's warmer. And I am going to let this melt off and I will get back up on the bench and see if I can just make it work. I'm not going to try to fine tune anything. Even if I have to have help to connect it and disconnect it, at least hopefully I can uh, test it and see if it'll work. That's kind of how I do most of my projects. I just make it work and then I refine them and refine them. I will get back to you.